good eye. It's working. Maybe a little bit too loud. Microphone, kit. I am, I think, I'm going in there to see Mr. Uptown, Barry Uptown himself, on the dark side. It looks very interesting. Here we have the BB Bury Ram, BB Bar. Oh man, I think I'm in the right place. We have the Bunny Bar, the Bird Cage, the Full Moon, and we have Pinky's Bar. <laughs> they all look very entertaining to me. Bat, bat race. I hope, I, I think I am right in the right place. <laughs> Samaron is, is the place, and I think that is Barry's. It is Samaron. So his village is either that one or this one. So I'm going to drive down in real time, see if we can see him. He said just come in. <laughs> Opposite Samron, is it? Is it this one? <laughs> in his village? Um, no. That'll be the next one then. The AD house. Must be. Easy on the brake. Please leave ID with security. Good day. Okay. It's okay? Cup on cap, we're in. <laughs> Just come down, he said. You'll see me, he said. It's all right, innit? Whee! There he is. <laughs> That'll be him in the blue. Wicked. Right. All I've got to do is park yours up. We'll go and see how the other half lives. Good day. Good day. Good day, buddy. You good? I'm here. You are? Wicked. Oh, I found yeah. you. I'm here, yeah. What could be better? That's wicked. We're in paradise. Yes. I've, I've gone up, but hello, darling. You all right? <laughs> not, yet. Not, not yet. Oh, you're it's good. Like watching vlog in the dead oars in 3D. For, yes, in, in real time. Yeah. And I've, I've, um, I've been and spent a little bit of dollar. Look, that's. Um, wow. You see me speaker? Yeah. I've got so hopefully we'll have improved. Testing one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> right. Hey. I bet I'll get copyrighted for that. <laughs> uh, just pay me now, right? Yes. Cut out it the is. middle, man. Oh, man, you've got a pool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's cool. Well, I won't go through the house. I'll go through this way. That's wicked. Hang on. I'll take these off. And then I can see. Oh, it's really nice, isn't it? Where's the pink fluffy duck? Where's the what? Big duck. That's the big, big duck. Big yellow duck. I'll tell you, when I first came here, I had a Dalek. Oh, OK, yes. I had an inflatable Dalek. Yes. Oh, but this is nice. I threw it away. I know, right. I have no air. I thought I hid more than I put in plastic bags. She says he was a bit deflated. Yes, OK. Fair enough. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> oh, cool. Hey, I'll get the hat off because I started to get hot. It is. Um, I put um, a Picari sweat. There's a Picari sweat in the fridge. Ah, oh, one of those. How, how do you say that? What? P Fridge. But no, yes. <laughs> it's worse than me. But Picari, I say Pecora, but I, I get pulled Pecari. up Picari. There you go. Larry, yeah. uh, I've got some water. I might oh, get, yeah. oh, man. So, Discs yeah, this on the wall. Oh, yeah. You want to see on the, on yeah, the, look. the, uh, the walls first? <laughs> okay. Oh, it looks good. We're going in. We're going in. Discs on the wall. We're going in. Lucky. Does, does everybody know that I'm your biggest fan? I don't know, no, I don't know. Yeah, this is where I watch all the time, right here, right? Oh, wow. So, here we go. Uh, a few steps, um, awards. Yes. And then... Um... Oh, these, the, now, the new hits, 98, I remember these. I really do. Football crazy. Uh, yeah, football crazy up on there, man. That is cool. And this is... Look at that. That is awesome. Really? That is awesome. Do you play that at all still? Uh, yeah, I do. You do, yeah, OK. I played it at the Coronation concert recently. Ah, And the okay. Queen's Jubilee last year. Right. I mean, very appropriate. Yes, that really is. And um, 
Uh, number one line dancing album. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Ah, okay. Yep. Wicked. There it is, in the flesh. In the flesh. Uh, some more over here. There's a couple of Brother of the Man pictures. Yeah, okay. Well, look at that. That's superb. Uh, Gold dust. And then, uh, yeah, look at the album, which was in, in the top 20 for a year wow. in the UK. This is quite nice. More than 900,000 copies. Yeah, but it sold even more than, than that. that. And okay. Even now. To, but I, I just couldn't wait to get the, the, the disc. And you know? you've got the album on the wall. There you go. Cool. Brother of the Man album. Where is it? Now, this is uh, an American jukebox. Yes. A late 60s um, Rakosa jukebox. Yeah, it's very, very nice. So very I, nice. I always dreamt of having, you know. And you've actually got them on here? I've got all these records on here. I've got all, yeah. all the Beatles records. <laughs> oh, right? cool. And loads of 60s stuff and some of my vinyl records, which were released as well. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> and here's where you're... Is, is that your main... That, that's just no. your computer work? Yeah, I was no. going to say. This is the, that, that would be my... <laughs> Mate, I mean, you're using Ernie Balls, that's cool. Good. Super yeah. slinky Ernie Balls. Super slinky. Yes. This, <sighs> this is my favourite guitar. Yeah, that's moment. lovely. Which that is really the, is. Uh, the Gretsch with a Bigsby. And, that, and I've got a nice 335 there. Okay. Nice guitar selection. Collection. Got, this is the one I usually use for live, <laughs> for doing live gigs. It's got a whammy bar, look. Which is a nice blue, oh, okay. blue strat. That's yeah. an original USA strat, no? It's, a, it, it's actually a Chinese copy. But it plays, plays well. It plays brilliantly. Brilliant. It looks great. It plays great. And it, oh, I don't care it. if I drop it. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> yes, fair enough. Fair enough. I'm doing a couple of Caribbean. I just saw those. Uh, yeah, I'm doing um, a couple of Caribbean gigs this week. <laughs> so yeah, okay. I've got the, uh, the wigs and the... Uh, yeah, have you worse than me? Oh, and you've got your big gimbal as well. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, oh, okay. For the fun. Oh, and, man, and wicked. The, uh, the different, uh, it's really good. You can't in the very room, very hot. You need okay. Water. Cheers, darling. You need some more. I put here. Okay, okay cut from cap. Thank okay. you. Mm. Mm. So, mm. this is the pool area. Which is the that's lovely. Yes. Oh, it's just nice. Out there. That sun catches up through the morning till... The afternoon. Oh, yeah. That is good. And the grass. Yeah, it's hot, isn't it? Got to keep off the grass. The grass is hot. Like a little like green screen room here. Ah oh, man. Proper video. I met two girls yesterday. Two Russians. Yeah. Very white Bottle Russians. Champagne. And a, yeah, no, could yeah. be. Could yeah. Be. But I, I, when I met them, I, I'm, I'm going. I went back to where I met them yesterday, but they weren't there. But I'm going to go back again because. I've got a lot of cheeky girls thing going on with them, I think. Well, you know the cheeky girls, I produce the cheeky girls. I know, girls. and that so don't know, matter. I know a lot about cheeky girls. You do, and it doesn't matter what genre of music you like, you're going to watch the cheeky girls, right? Well, I bet you did. We all <laughs> love the cheeky girls. And the two, two Russians, I'm fair, I don't know, I think they're, they're a bit bored, they're did young. They say, touch my bum? No, but... Because um, that's what cheeky girls normally do, I know from personal experience. That is? Yeah. They just want to touch the In bum. In the studio, touch my bum. Okay, there you go. <sighs> There you go. So, yes, I bet green the screen. The green screen. So, uh, uh, from nice piece of art on the wall. <laughs> <As well. laughs> oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look, you've got to have those collection of those summertime on the beach hats. I bet they've been in some videos. Oh, yeah. Them. Yeah, I'll tell you something here. This is, I like, love this. If I can get it out. This was given to me by Roger Daughtry's manager. Oh, and, wow. And, uh, on my 60th birthday, he gave me a signed by the, by the two remaining members of the Who. Which That's is? Nice, yeah, yeah, which is Roger, Roger Daltrey. Daltrey and Pete Townsend. Oh, wow. Oh, man, Pete Townsend. Oh, good that, absolutely mate? brilliant, mate. I'm sure you Yeah, appreciate. that is. I thought you'd appreciate that. Oh, that really is. He's a cool guy, Pete Townsend. That, well, they both are, because they, they all took the mickey out of Roger. Because that well yeah they were all musicians and Roger just wanted to be a rock star. Oh, so right. so that was the thing with the Who and yeah. eventually that's what happened. Oh wow. So this is my studio. Look at them. Bongos. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, like, it's, it's... <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That is so good. Oh, mate, you've got bobbleheads. 
And, oh man, look, look, now he hasn't. He has got, I sold all mine. He's got the footballers, he's got the band. Have you got oh, a full? The whole set. Ah. Oh, I was a kid. You, you've kept them since yeah. then. Um, we're talking about the Robinsons um, Golly, Golly collection. Ones, which I think are illegal in England. Now. The band, mate. Yeah, you can still buy them. You've got to be very careful with advertising. Yeah. Um, they, but you've got the full band and full extras. You see, I don't know why they're banned, because uh, they're celebrating you... black musicians. Mate, That's um, the way I think about it. Yes. Yeah, you've got the whole brass section. With, I grew up with Tamla Motown. You but you only got one footballer. <laughs> so, so you got more to get. You know, there's a whole football team, the goalkeeper with a green shirt. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, they did the band and the football team. And I, uh, I feel, look at him, man. It's James Brad. Is that a bobblehead? Yeah, I don't He's, know. Probably good. Uh, he'll move to music. No, normally, if you press it, he goes, I it, feel good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's awesome. We've got proper artwork. Are these all your backstage passes or oh, there's such a, like? There's a few. Yeah. There's a few. Some Emmanuel. <laughs> Okay, uh, Queen, yes. And, you know, oh, all in there. Things that have happened here oh, in, wow. In, uh, Thailand. I think I've got one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, where I was, I was photographer at Bad Manners. Oh, um, really? So I've got one of, one of them. And my mate played in Splodginous Bounds. So I've got a Jack Daniel oh, well, I did a, one. Oh, listen, Max Splodge. <laughs> yes. I did a song, I produced a record. Okay. Oh, play it here somewhere. oh wow, that is one bendy screen. Here it is. Otway and Splodge. No way. It's called, no offence, none taken. Oh, oh, wow, how cool is that? Yeah. That's really good. So I've had Max Splodge in my studio. Okay. He, what a great guy, isn't he? But yeah, yeah, well, I'd never met him. I knew, my mate was a bass player. It was yeah. a two packets of crisps and a, uh, and a pint, hang on, a, park, a pint of lager and two packets of crisps, please. So, that's it. Yeah. That that was yeah. that was it. But that is how come they're so, so bendy? I'm in the uh, well, it's a I'm in the mood. I thought he's got going. I'm in the mood for <laughs> I'm in the mood for creating. Yeah. Oh. I'm just doing a bit of editing here from uh, wow. this is the thing we did last night. You know, some of the wonderful lifestyles we enjoyed. Here oh, this was in Bangkok. Yeah, the thing we did in Bangkok oh, last the, night. Yes, so that lady you were telling me about. Yeah, okay. cool. It's like a big awards ceremony, you know. Wow. And uh, you can see more of it later on here. Isn't it? There it is. Big event. Oh. And that's just working like a sequencer. Well, I mean, how much planning goes in here? Each track oh, and yeah. the sound, and then. Yeah, oh, man. Da Vinci. And that it's is. Da Vinci. It's, it's a great program. Yeah, I know. And uh... I can see how editing be can become appealing. Well, it is, so long as you've got good footage that you're. That you're you yes. enjoy looking at. Yeah, that you're working with. Yeah, I, okay. I think if it was a dull subject, I wouldn't enjoy it. But this is why most of my music videos feature girls in bikinis. Yeah, because they're fun. Because then when I'm editing, right? Yeah. All I'm doing is looking at girls in bikinis. Yes, tough. And then sometimes they're not even in the, in the bikinis. No. And that, that gets left to, to one side. Yeah. Because you can't put it up on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. You know? Oh, so, but, but it's it, then at the end you just piece it all together for your own enjoyment. Yeah, yeah, you your own secret selection. I was just looking yeah. at the CDs, and I'm just putting uh, the pages over the top of the. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, prints and stuff on there. The, you know, oh, that is, I'm liking the look and the layout of that because it just reminds me of Cubase. If, okay. Uh, if, are you with me? Just a yeah. sequencer, and you can drag and drop in your blocks. There's not and a lot of difference between it. No. But this program is is amazing. Some of the things that you, know, you can do, and some of the uh, amazing. Oh yeah, open up, stretch things, it out. You know? Yes. Um, I mean, like if if I go from uh, there to here and I blur it, like for example. Where can we get this okay, magazine? Okay, we'll still the supermarket. So, to awards. Yay. Okay. Ah, nice, nice transition. And if you do it with the music and get the music in just right like that. To yes. Awards. Yay. Yeah, just right on the time, it's timing. See what that I mean? it pops, yeah. That's why it helps to be a musician when you're editing. Yeah, yes, because, yes, it does. It helps to have a good sense of rhythm. Yeah, yeah, you've got, the, sure you have. you've got the breaks and the bars <laughs> built in. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, it's really good. I enjoy it. I do enjoy editing, but I did learn early on, as I say, if you've got dull footage, it's, it's, it's boring. Yes. It is boring, yeah, but if you've got good footage that you're looking at and you're looking at fun stuff all the time, then, uh, like here, here's the guy who organised the whole thing, you know. Well, you're getting used to this. And I'm, a, I'm doing a Sean King. We decided to know what we're doing a little bit more right now. But uh, it's always <laughs> good to see you guys here from, from Hattie Trader. And uh, the same without you, Barry. 
Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, cool. You see what I mean? I'm, yes. I've got the same stick as you and, you know. Yes, yeah, yes, you've entered the world of, let's see, well, it is awesome, fella, having a stick in I'm your hand. I'm and... not a vlogger, but I, 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 there's certain things you can pick up from yes. guys like you who, who vlog, you know? Yes, yes. And certain techniques. Oh, you just see the fun we have by putting the money. camera on. Yeah. I made a brilliant vlog. Well, yeah. We're talking about lobster thermidor. Yes. Right? Yeah. You're good. Do your lobster impression. Does it make uh, <laughs> pinchy, okay. pinchy kiss kiss? That's good, TP. Yes. yes. What's the lobster like? Have you tried it yet? They haven't yet. Uh -huh. right. do, do your best lobster impression. No, I'm not doing it. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. okay, okay. Was, there's, there's this guy yes. that, that I did a gig with once <laughs> called uh, Lacudo, Lord of the Lobsters. Oh, uh, okay. He, he believed he was the Lord of the Lobsters. And okay. He went, pinchy, pinchy, kiss, kiss. All okay. The time. And he's still, every happy birthday, he says, pinchy, pinchy, kiss, kiss. Ah. So, so I, I, I'm looking at that thinking you're trying to get them to do the birdie song. Well, <laughs> I was responsible for a tweet song. A t yeah, tweet. Not the original bit, uh, birdie yeah. song. No. But yeah, no, I've got quite a few here that, you know, that's, 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 yes. that's the biggest, you know. Yes, that was cool. Now, yesterday I made a brilliant vlog yeah. just by going somewhere to chill out and I just put the camera on and it just proved that because you never know what's going to go on in the background. Anyway, loads of supermodels just kept walking past up and down, other people vlogging and it was terrible. Where um, else was this? That was on. I went to Bamboo Beach. I told you about it. Oh, I loved it, mate. I went back there was three Does times. Does it look like a film set? Yeah, yeah. It, well, film set. I went to the last beach bar where I think you can hire... A, 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 there's a big glass box. Can you? Yeah, that's where these girls... Anyway, that was it. That was a vlog. That's on the Sean King channel. And that was just a vlog about me just going to have a drink at the end of the day. And then I've got all these supermodels there all just walking about. It was just really good. That's the, yeah, it's a bit of a high-so area. But that bamboo beach is not so high-so. No, it's that nice was... nice and comfortable, isn't it? That was really relaxed. And um, I sat there and made a vlog. that I can't really believe this is Patio. Because <laughs> uh, it's a part of that I've never been to. That's and... what I was telling you. There's parts that yes. people don't know about. Yes, and I also did yesterday... The Sanctuary... Sanctu Sanctuary of Truth? Yes. How, how great is that? Well, it was all right, but I have dubbed... The title, because these aren't up yet, uh, my vlogs. I'm about a week ahead with what my work is so I can keep on top of it. So you guys would have seen them by now, but right now they're not up. So I have renamed it Thailand's Biggest Lie. Why? Because it's all meant to be done chipped, hand chipped, all hand carved. And you've, you've spotted something. Well, I didn't spot it, mate. Angle Grinder Man was there yesterday. <laughs> Where, wherever I go, Angle Grinder Man go. <laughs> whether or not it's one of the biggest temples built in Thailand, all hand. Angle Grinder, not just Angle Grinder Man. Yeah. Belt Sander Man, Sander Man, and also Chainsaw Man. I saw right at the end. I took a photograph of Chainsaw Man. So it's not all hand carved? No, nah, so it's a tourist trap, mate. Uh, it's a lovely place to go. It looks good. I really it? enjoyed it. Yeah. And it's just a tourist trap. I saw all the people that are doing all the carving, yeah. they're just sitting there. They're not doing anything until someone come along. Yeah. And then they start chipping. So they're not actually work. That is, it's just for the tourist, the visual display. But it's easily to be bought into it. Yeah. Um, and there's four different religions there. And the main one being Hinduism. Hinduism. But the biggest thing was... Yes, easy for me to say, yes, <laughs> yeah, won't go there, won't go there. But it was all a bit, they, they'd ripped off, um, it, I liked it, I, I liked it, but they'd ripped off Bali with the, that's why they put right. the Hinduism in there in a big way, ah. because Hinduism doesn't really come across in Thailand, no. but the, they've incorporated in there. Um, so I think that's what, where I've seen all the wood carving and everything in Indonesia. But at least you've been there now. I've been and it was you've good. It. You've ticked it it's off. Really good. Right. It's worth a visit if you go. I mean you can oh, go. I think there's so many <laughs> places around around Patia that yes. people, you know, ah. they 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 fail to, yes. to go to because they just stay in the bars. Yes. And that's what they think that's what they think Thailand is. Yes, but yeah. It's not. It's not, not like, at you all. Know, you come out this area, it's beautiful this area. Oh, I've already found a few. I bumped into a subscriber on the way here who yeah. pulled it who, who flagged me down. And it, I was talking to him because I said that's the first time I've come to the dark side. Now, the dark side, it's a little bit dark of all the girly bars at the left there. But the reason it's called the so dark got side. Everything. everything. Yeah, I know I saw weed right, everything just right out on the door when you come weed out. Shops. You know, like the whole thing. <laughs> but it's called the dark side, not 
It's because there weren't electric here before, or Years no, ago. no street lighting. Years ago, it was always bright lights in the middle of Patia, or downtown Patia. Yes. The cross the circumvit, the, the big main road that goes past it, over this side, and there was no street lighting. But now, we've got everything. Yes. And actually, it's, it's better to live here and yes. then dip into uh, it, it, Patia it, whenever you need it, to. Yes. You know? oh, so, and it's a bit, I, I noticed that when you cross the road, you come here, everything it goes down a bit. The traffic goes down. And, it's cheaper. And it's cheaper you know in the what? price. Property is like half the price here than it is in downtown Patty. Okay. And, and you've only got to drive 15 minutes. Yes, yeah, which is good, good to know. And the aeroplane, you know, we talked about the jumbo, the abandoned jumbo. Oh, did you go it? Uh, no, because it's no longer abandoned. They've built the, there's a market went past there today. There's an all, uh, a market all outside, so it looks like that's all opened up. Yeah. But I will go and make a vlog about that because yeah. now it's finally there. I'll tell you something. Uh, in Patia, I've always had a motto for it. There's never a dull moment. No, no. Something's always happening. Well, they've already, they've already built something brand new, uh, on the bit of land also, because now the Jumbo's wing, mm. where that was in a great big area, now the wing of it is now going into the next door neighbour's yard. Oh, right. Yeah, which wasn't there like, what, yeah. six to eight months ago. Yeah. But that, that's just amazing what's being built. Anyway, this is my playroom. This is where I do my music and play the guitar. And it's really cool. Like oh, wow, this. look at that. Everything's, everything's at, at, to hand, you know, like, like this. I can just yes, and just swing round. And I've got a bunch of guitars. Oh, this is a really old style keyboard. Well, no, they're, they're, well, it's about 15 years old, I think. Oh, OK. Like the Lord one. Some people use them now. They're, they're great. They're, they're, they're really good, good keyboards. Re really good Hammond organ or sound on it. Oh, you, yeah, good, yeah. Uh, Wurlitzer uh, sound on it. And, you know, the, oh, and you've uh, got your... The classic it, keys. You buy that your guitar effects at the bottom? The GT5? Uh, that, well, that that's is a, 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 that's an old guitar that's an, effect unit. Yes. Right. That is a, that's like an 80s, 90s? No, I think no? Quite, yeah, probably more 90s, yeah. You know, they re they're all that, that's all vintage and worth a lot of money. Oh, yeah, I'm yes. sure it is now. Yeah. Yes, because they made it all again. And you've got a line six. Well, and I've got some here, some outboard equipment, which is some of this. Yes, all the old racks. I mean, even even the Simpty synchronizer, which they would ever use. That's all 80s. Right. That's definitely 80s, Simpty synchronizer. Okay. And uh, that, this, this is your sampler? No. No? Uh, that's an Akai sample right over there. The old, oh, the old well, and, okay, and your old... I made a lot of dance records with that. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> that just looks awesome. <laughs> that just looks brilliant. And the old Boss. Boss pedals. Yeah, yeah. Oh. They're really good. Yeah, that's, that's the sampler. That's the old yes. sampler. Yes. Uh, yes. That, that's the classic sampler. That is what everybody and that, and used. And above it was what you'd burn your CDs on. Okay. So they don't, you don't really use that so much. No, the top one's, no. A, mini, top one's a mini disc player. Okay. So oh, again, good. you know, you don't really use them that much now. Don't no, because everything is just on the computer. But here's uh, a few of my prize. I, I like this one, the John Lennon. It's the wow, old okay. John Lennon guitar, you know, 320. Um, That's quite, to be honest, I've never seen. That is a lot smaller shape yeah. than what... Well, it's, a, it's a short, wow. a short neck. Yeah. But as soon as you plug it in and play it, it's... Sounds like John Lennon. Wow. Which is great. Uh, and I've got the Brian May guitar over there. It's well, okay. obviously a Chinese copy. Okay. Very nice. They but are again, really nice. You, know, you, you, you put it through an amp and you put a bit of distortion on it. it sounds Even like this as well. They're all okay. And uh, that's, that's your Beatles bass, right? Yeah, Beatles violin bass. But yes. Yeah. A couple of flying Vs. Cool. Including the, that, that one, which is a... Give, give some white yes at the drink. back but this one oh. a, a kind of t-rex get it on yes that's what i've got it for oh really nice and, and this is your line six that's the line six guitar which can be any guitar you want oh, it to be well that's what well originally why i got a line six guitar was because i wanted a sitar sound you know that guitar yes. sitar sound yes and they're bloody expensive a and sitar, OK. Less than half the price, you could get that. On get there. The sitar sound. OK. And a whole load of other sounds. Yes, Ananda Shanga. You heard of Ananda Shanga? No, who's she? He, he's the he. sitar guy. Ananda, you want proper sitar. Right. Ananda Shanga. Yes, but I know what you I mean. I've been to I, a sitar concert here in OK. Uh, with the tablas and stuff like that. A classical yes. sitar. And it was unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Have a, you need a little bit of a smoke, right? You just drift away. Yes. You go into a trance. Yes. So do you, do you use the Line 6 much other than getting that? Oh, just here. You they know, are. If I wanted... 
Yes, it does. And we have got battery power because that heated up as Barry was right in the midst of talking about the black beauty. Beauty. Guitar. Look at that. That's a triple. There's not many of them about. No, it's and a guess a Gibson. As played by Peter Frampton. Ah, I remember Peter. Yeah. Did he? He made that famous. He did the Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club film. He, Peter Frampton. I think he did. Yes. But he also did Frampton's Comes Alive, and he was also a big 60s star, and I was ah. a big, big fan of The Herd. Oh, OK. Humble Pie. Yeah, Humble Pie, yes. Shaky so Jake. I, and I saw uh, Frampton Comes Alive, I saw the show in, in Copenhagen, and he played that. Oh, OK, cool. The, only, the first time I knew of Peter Frampton is when they made that film. All right. Uh, yeah, that, that was it at the cinema. All things Beatles, you see. I'm such a big Beatles fan. Yeah, I was looking at that, but I've yeah. I've got the Beatles guitars here. You've got Paul Smith. No, Paul, Paul McCartney. McCartney, yes. Are they real? No. No, they're not no, live. No. Okay. No. It, I, index. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> and you've got all your maracas and stuff. Oh, well, you've got yeah, these. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> these are the films the, the sort of things you put on top of things. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm going to tell you how it's going to be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shake it, shake it, shake it. Oh, I only got one of these. Oh, Mike's. I yeah, thought you'd, Mike's. I see you've got, I thought you'd have one like that with a great big metal cage, the old oh, vo Vox. Tick tock, tick tock. Yes. You, know, you have to have your little shakers. Yeah. Egg, egg shaker, <laughs> you know. And even one of these is a tie thing, but I haven't learned how to play it yet. Oh, that's a flute. You play it like that somehow. Well, that's dead, mate. That, they, 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 there's yeah. nothing coming out of that. I think yeah. you've got a long way to go with that. The, uh, the Thai guitar in, in, the, in, the, in the main room. No. Oh, that's your line dancing again on here. Yeah. And, oh, wow, steps. That's the steps one. It's a gold disc. Uh, that's all, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's a gold one. Cool. And all the different steps, you know, CDs that we did, steps okay. gold, uh, which is a, like a greatest hits thing. There's loads of them. There's Cheeky Girls records and um, uh, oh yeah, there's there's the three the three different CDs we brought out with John Otway. Yes. Uh, for Bunsen Burner, I, I love this one. But it's not a mix; it's a compound. Yes. Okay. 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 It's a compound. <laughs> cool. Reference to cement <laughs> or glue or anything. Oh, you have got a big. I was going to say you must have one of these great big. Um, that's a road. Road yes. Mic, Australian road mic. Yeah, use that ma mainly for main lead vocals. Yes, crystal clear vocals. Yeah. Oh, when you're as bad as me, look at all the hard drives. How many you got? One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Where are the other two? I'm not the tiniest. <laughs> yeah, no, I've got six, mate. I've got exactly the same. I've got six hard oh, drives yeah. and another one in there. Yes. Oh, mate, that is it. Like I say, forever, 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 collecting hard drives. <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of more guitars. Yes. Yeah, I've, even, I've got a Rickenbacker 12 string in, in the cupboard, but wow. it, uh, the, the bridge is broken at the moment, so. <laughs> oh, really cool. Oh, really cool. And today's Friday, right? Yeah. So tomorrow is that, uh, you know, the Bayern Munich song you're telling me about? The Bayern Munich, do you want to hear it? Yeah, yeah, I do, because this really impressed me, oh, okay. talking yeah. about it the other day, and they're going to they're gonna play it tomorrow, right? Because this is a little bit unique, right? I'm probably the only person who, apart from Harry Kane, or his, his manager, yes. made money out of Harry Kane. Oh. And, uh, oh, let me switch him <laughs> in. Oh, no, I can show you one here. You can, because Bayern Munich oh, as a club are really pleased with it. They've, you've sent them the lyrics, right? Yeah, that's going to be printed in the newspaper. So hopefully... Because uh, this German guy who's ACDC's promoter, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. He comes to me and he says, hey... They're signing Harry Kane. We need a song. We've got to have a song. So uh, I quickly put something together. And it, it, it's just a, a Scorpions thing. Um, so let's see on here. I've got the, uh, the video as well. Uh, just some stills of Harry Kane. Where is it? The, the Tommy Emmanuel. Oh, there it is. The Harry Kane. <laughs> Yeah, it, yeah, I just put a lot of stills together. So. Yes, I, rem I can imagine this being played at the stadium but Saturday. All we did was I, I, I wrote new lyrics to their song "Rock You Like a Hurricane." Yes, right. So it's "Rock You Like Hurry Harry Kane," like Harry Kane. It's not difficult, but that, that was his idea. That was Axel's idea. The guy who came to me and 
and asked me to do this, but you see, in my career, I've, I've been asked to do stupid things so many times. I always do it. Yes. Because they're the, always the ones that become successful. Yes. You know? Oh, I could see this being legendary. <laughs> This is a this is a world exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> Here he comes. Gonna work you like a hurricane. <laughs> Here he comes. Gonna shoot him like a hurricane. Well, that's brilliant. You know, you've got the background of the chairs and stuff in yeah. the background and oh, yeah. uh, everything. Yeah. Some sound effects in there. Yeah. <laughs> that is so brilliant. That's, that's going to be thundering out. Tomorrow at the Bayern Munich yeah, tomorrow, Stadium. Yeah. yeah. We're so close. All, those, all the Germans are going to be singing Here He Comes Harry Kane <laughs> in English tomorrow. And I think if, if you're Germany and, and if you've been at that football yeah. ground and that happened, that's going to be something you're going to tell your grandkids uh, about. I hope some people will like, you know, video it. And, and yes. I'd like to see Harry Kane's reaction. Yes, yes. Uh, well, that's, that's what I'll be hoping for. The commentators on Sky TV, uh, they'll be looking for something like that. That would be really unique. Uh, that would. I'm, I'm actually going to try and watch Sky TV to actually watch it. Because it will. It'll just be like, I, I just like moments like that. It's just such a moment in time. Look, the brilliant. Thing, the thing for me is just the, the fact of having my voice booming out around... Yeah, the stadium Bayern Munich. in Bayern Munich. <laughs> it's, it's surreal, mate. It What's is the awesome. Chances? I know. And, it, it's, and it's, it's all made here in Thailand, in Patio, yes. Thailand. Yeah, it's brilliant. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, really good. <laughs> really, really good. I'll show you this Thai guitar. Okay. It, it, it's miles out of tune. Uh... Oh, that was good. I really enjoyed, enjoyed being there. Great place to be. Oh, man, yeah, the sun. And there's some Thailand is. It's oh, mega hot. Bashat. Yes, oh, you got the basha. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hey. Hang on, you got to straighten that up a bit. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to, yeah. All right. Well, you've put, now you'll have to take it off and start again. You've got all the... You got to get it on properly. Okay. Look, all right. there you go. All right. There you go. All right. I, I want oh, to you do, can I, you can do me. I, I want to do the impression. Right? Oh, you can. Right. <laughs> this is it. This is it. Right. <laughs> <G'day>! <laughs> Good fun. Now the first the first one I ever saw you do the first vlog of what you do was the uh, the one where you were going around Phuket massage parlors get, trying to get them to suck your toe. Yes. Do toe, um, to toe yes. Sucking. One day I will achieve the toe sucking championships, whether it'll be here in Thailand <laughs> or I don't know where. I'll probably have a better chance in the UK. Thai people don't don't know. Um, but yes, one day. Maybe the lady boys might be a better option with the toe sucking. Bring out some more of this. Yes. Yes. See you need it. Okay. You need that um, boost. That is because but electrolyte. Yes. That's what it is. <laughs> Cheers. Electrolyte. I thought about starting a band called the Electrolyte Orchestra. But <laughs> hello. Hey hello. I think it's done. Hey hello. Say hello. Oh man. Cool. Oh. Yes, yeah, so the, the Thai guitar. Thai. Oh, here it is. Ah, oh, I saw that when I come in. It's a, it's and there's a, a pin. Okay, three strings. <laughs> That's got a sitar type sound out of key. Yeah, it needs tuning up. I used it on my last s single, but it took a bit of. Uh, Different frets, mm. so the, yeah, you have to work out a, a tune. Something. <laughs> okay. Oops. Um, now this is a, this is interesting. This oh. would interest you, right? Yes. Because 
this is the oldest thing that I own, right? This is from 1959. My father wore this to the Luton Town against Nottingham Forest Cup final. Okay. So it's a Wembley Luton Forest oh, okay. Cup oh, okay. original hat. Hat from that day, yeah. from 1959. Brilliant. Um, and it looks like, I don't know, you should be wearing that on a boating lake. Well, yeah, I suppose you should, really. Somebody <laughs> fit me that, that well. But it's just a, an heirloom, really, you know? Yes, yeah, brilliant. Nice, isn't it? I've yes, got, very I good. I know you're interested in those kinds. I love a hat. If you go, if you want to get ahead, get a get hat. A hat. <laughs> <laughs> We've got quite a few here for the for the, uh, the Caribbean. Yeah, they're, they're, I quite like them. They're these, all these good fun. Good. Oh, really good. Oh well, Barry, our battery is gonna die, but it's been really you good. You need a happy ending. Wow. Yeah, we always want a happy ending. Um. Well, should we go up some morns and have a happy ending? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There we go. We've got to go for a happy ending. So hang in there for a couple of seconds. Awesome. <laughs> they won't mind you to film in there. They won't. I'll carry you on my yeah, darling. Look, you're on your vlog. I'm now filming. You're on TV. Wow. You, are, you, you will be on YouTube. You will. Good. Good. Right. <laughs> Barry. Yes. Buddy. Yes. We are, we are, we're having a happy end. We've started. We have started, yeah, we have. Oh, hang on a bit. I'm hey, still you're still on that one. Yeah. I've got one ahead. We are starting the happy ending, but as you guys know, happy ending can actually run on for quite some time. It can. It's the end of the show where we like to have a beer, so cheers. It's, it's not au revoir yet. Mm -mm. No, no. Not yet. Because right on this little doorstep, I've got a little story to tell you. <laughs> Excuse me. I will be back in one second because right out here on the dark side <laughs> I'll run a little bit we have cyan berries <laughs> can you see that sign <laughs> and Barry has told me a little bit about the story of cyan berries it's owned by, by an English guy Funny enough, famous for value. And he has had a letter from the Sainsbury's lawyers asking, well, literally telling him that he can't have <laughs> Sainsbury's here in Thailand. And he basically told him, you know what? Yeah, I can. Off. Ah, no photo, no video. <laughs> oh, man. Hello, cannot. Not allowed. Not allowed. Wow, you're really busy. <laughs> no problem. Are oh, they really busy? So I can't show you what you can buy in there. <laughs> no, cannot. That's fair enough. <sighs> but this is a nice little street. <laughs> you got green shops, green stops. You got everything you want. And I am in, no, I'm not in that one, I'm in the uh, Sam Orn. Sam Orn. <laughs> Restaurant. Oh, man. But I'm not in there. Oh, man. She's got loads of good stuff in there. Now I'm in here. And we're going to eat because the food looks really good. Prices look really good. So, yeah. <laughs> that was short and sweet. You can't film in there. Oh, really? I was really busy, yeah, oh. no filming. I reckon I'll let you film. There's a lot of people in there. Yeah, there's a few, it's queued up. It's so popular. I know, but the girls have got uh, Sainsbury's uniforms on, the same colours. <laughs> uh, they have, I if you know, well, you probably didn't, I won't let it film. All the HP sauce and... I couldn't see, they were, Branson, no. Branson pickle. But everything. Oh. Ah. Oh. That was a shame, so and I couldn't. Fa fabulous pork pies. In there as well? Oh, uh -huh. the best pork pies. Okay. And you, I love a pork pie. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it's good, but they've got, they got HP sauce. Is that malt vinegar? It is. They've got Heinz malt vinegar. That's probably from across the road there. I bet, I bet it is. So it is really good. And we, what have we got? The silly French, mustard? French mustard. Yeah, French, that's French mustard, not American. So it's good. I'm a bit disappointed I couldn't show you where you can go and buy all your English grub from there because the guy's got a good reputation. But um, obviously don't want people film because I know everybody will be if one person go and film in there um, the world and his wife 
Yeah, but because he is using that Sainsbury's, the more people that do it could cause more of an issue. Mm. But it's been there for about five years now. Yeah, but that's why he's kept people from photos. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. uh, are you with me? Because yeah, it's, yeah. it's kept low key, isn't it? Yeah. It's probably, uh, so he's probably got to do that to, to keep his business. Right, guys. Cheers, Barry. Cheers. That was really good. It's so good to see you. It really is. <laughs> I had a really good day. That was yeah. a good vlog. It's like watching vlogging a dead horse in 3D. Yes, a virtual <laughs> reality of the horse in action. Mm. Man. So guys, I'd like to thank you very much for staying to the very end. The bitter end. Che yeah, the very bitter end. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Are you ready? Yeah. And until next time. Oh, oh wow. That's pretty good. <laughs>